All right, Jeff Choate here, acting voice of the Bobcats. Welcome to Bobcat Insider. We're fortunate to have Xavier Bishop here from the men's basketball team today. Uh, new addition, interesting kind of kind of route that you took, you know, coming and, and sitting out a year. Now, if you'd have waited a year, they probably would have got that transfer rule in place, so you would have yeah. been ready to roll. Yeah. But I know Coach Sprinkle, when he brought you here, it was knowing that we'd be losing our point guard, mm -hmm. and we wanted to have a guy that was going to be a kind of plug and play, ready to go. Mm -hmm. I know you'd had a, a really a, a pretty productive career at uh, at UMKC, mm -hmm. and for us to get you out here is a is a big coup. I know you're going to be a huge part of our success mm -hmm. on the court, but I want to ask you a little bit about off the court a little bit. So we were just having a little conversation here about uh, your pops playing over the hill, <laughs> wearing those ugly maroon colors, oh, but. Yeah. Uh, I know I'm, I'm hoping that, uh, you know, you've got your allegiances in line, you know, because you obviously know a little bit about the rivalry, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm de he's definitely converted over to Bob. All right. That's good. But, that's uh, good to hear. But, yeah, he, he, def he played football at Montana, and, uh, but I don't, I don't be trying to hear anything <laughs> he's talking about. So, so, what, so what position did your dad play? Receiver. And what would you play if you were a football player? So, I mean, playmaker. Anywhere. You want the ball? Yeah, just put, give me the ball. I just you give know? you the ball. But I say like kick return. So oh, okay. Like yeah, the kick return, yeah. punt return. I can see that. You know, you get know? a little little fly sweep action, yeah. maybe. You know, a little something. A little wildcat quarterback. <laughs> no defense though. <laughs> <laughs> Until Sprinkle, you said that. <laughs> no. <laughs> and so from Springfield, Illinois, huh? Mm -hmm. The land of Lincoln. Oh yeah. All right. And you're a Bears fan? Oh, most definitely. Bulls. What? Nah, not Oh, who they you get, like? They got rid of D. Rose, so I'm not a real Bulls fan. But I'm LeBron. Wherever LeBron is. Wherever LeBron is? Okay, all right. So that, that's typical basketball guys. Oh, Where, yeah. the, the best player in the game, you follow him because that team's going to win. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, it's like that's why everybody's Lakers fans right now, right? Yeah, they bandwagon. I've been LeBron since. Oh, three, you know. But. So, so you're a bandwagon LeBron fan, or oh, you yeah. a band? And, okay. <laughs> yeah, I ain't, I'm not afraid to admit it. <laughs> All right. So, how's your adjustment been to to Bozeman? You got here uh, last January, is that right? Uh, no, I got here uh, last June. Last June, okay. Yeah. I couldn't remember if it was if you transferred it semester or not. So, mm -hmm. obviously, you started working out with the team. Mm -hmm. Kind of had that. Was, was it tough for you to sit out a year? Was that difficult uh, yeah, for you? It's de it's definitely tough on you mentally. I feel like it's more of a mental thing than anything. I mean, sitting out watching the guys play, knowing you can help produce and things like that. But it was really, um, it really benefited me uh, getting in the weight room, get, uh, being able to get my body together and just work on my game. So, but I, I mean, I, I think I've adjusted pretty good. It's definitely different. I'm a city, from a city, yeah. you know, city boy. Yeah. So it's definitely different being out here, but I, I've adjusted for sure. So what do you do outside of basketball? Shoot, uh, besides video games, I like fishing. I kind of, really? yeah, I like fishing. Uh, I went tubing a couple times, oh, but yeah. I can't swim, so <laughs> I stay away from that. <laughs> well, the Madison's only this deep, so you're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still got to play it safe, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Well, it sounds like you're trying to embrace the outdoors here in Montana mm -hmm. and get to know some folks. Most it's definitely. so funny because I watch the basketball guys, you know, and, and I was talking with this about one of the, I think it was with the, with the golf girls earlier. You know, basketball, even though the body types are different, everybody wants the ball. Mm -hmm. Right, you know, I mean, the big guys want the ball in the post. You yeah. want you want the ball on the perimeter, <laughs> and but so everybody, you guys are like a pack. Mm -hmm. You know, basketball, you guys always travel together. Mm -hmm. Like in football, okay, the old linemen are over here, the wide receivers are over here. Yeah. You know, it's like a bunch of little packs on a on a big team, yeah. and, and so it's always interesting to watch you guys because I hardly ever see any of you alone. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're always with each other, which I think is great. That that tells me that uh, coach has done a nice job of recruiting, and mm -hmm. and uh, you guys uh, obviously seem to get along. Oh yeah. For the most part, any uh, any you know personality conflicts on the team? Like, uh, like who's the most annoying guy on the basketball most team? Most annoying. Yeah. I gotta give it. Uh, I gotta give it to Kale right now, just because he's young, he's a <laughs> freshman. KT, he, he he he's like the little brother for sure. Oh but. yeah. Uh, but besides that, me and Brill, we butt heads a lot. Like we oh, get yeah. like I think it's just more being competitive though. Me and right. him, we go at each other. Biggest guy, smallest guy. Yeah, so I was kinda, gonna say that's kind of like yeah, the yin and the yang right there. Yeah. So <laughs> that's good. Well, I know there's gonna be high expectations for this team, and mm -hmm. I think Coach Sprinkle's really elevated our talent level, bringing in young men like you, having the vision to know, hey, you know, we've got a great player in Shane, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in Harold Frey walking out the door, mm -hmm. and to bring in a high quality player like yourself that's gonna bring leadership on and off the floor. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited to watch you guys Thanks, compete. Bro. and. A uh, little bit jealous because you guys are going to get to do it before we do, probably. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's uh, it's always uh, exciting when the Bobcats hit the floor, and it's going to be a great second year for Coach Sprinkle and mm -hmm. first year for you wearing yeah. that Bobcat blue and gold, man. Definitely. We're glad to have you here, Xavier. Thanks, Thanks for all you do, man. Uh, hopefully, we'll get an opportunity to uh, see you in very, very, very soon. Mm -hmm. 
nailing those threes, right? Yes, sir. Okay, yes, man. Definitely. All right. Thanks for watching. Go Cats. Thanks.